I think many of you would agree. Some of the themes from this morning <clears throat> included how important it is for us to have data in order to make data-driven decisions. And so for our next uh, speaker, we have a, a combination of uh, Komodo Health and PulsePoint, who are going to be sharing with you some, some thoughts on um, how we can actually best leverage data and technology to be able to drive uh, new analytics and insights for your marketing plan. Thanks. All right. Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? All there? All right, everybody's awake. <laughs> Great. Um, uh, so I'd just like to welcome you on behalf of Komodo and PulsePoint um, to our presentation. Um, we're really talking about the biopharma landscape is evolving, and uh, we think your data and technology should too. So we're going to present to you a solution today that we think accomplishes that. Um, just a quick introduction. Uh, Natalie and I are going to be co-presenting. I'm Jonathan Zeil, um, Senior Vice President of Data at PulsePoint. Take two. Yeah, <laughs> mic drop and I can move. I'll get out of the way. Um, sorry, I'm used to, um, I'm an uh, adjunct professor at uh, Fordham Business School, and I'm used to walking around and just shouting at a small class with no microphone, so. <laughs> I'm going to give <laughs> Lots you space. Of hand motion. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I've, um, I've worked in analytics for about 20 years and really focused on building and innovating on data products and solutions, focusing across really all of the ecosystem within healthcare. Um, things like audience segmentation, audience profiling, user journey, patient journeys, um, identity resolution, campaign planning and optimization, and of course, measurement, which we're here to talk to you about today. So Natalie, take it away from there. Thanks, uh, Natalie Mancuso. So I'm at Komodo Health and I lead the market segment and strategy for the digital segment. So we're sort of an up and coming area, very excited to bring some new offerings to the market, but also to work with you guys to really evolve the way we can power our marketing and analytics. I've spent over 20 years in the media and digital space. I've done so both on what we would say the client side now, right, as a, as a, uh, a marketer myself, uh, launching a lot of these innovations into healthcare. So I know what it feels like to sort of push the rock up the wall. I remember when I used to say, hey, digital is important. And now it seems to be, right, we have this media presence where we get to, uh, we get to really lean into this channel. And uh, after that, ran a full-service AOR and then decided to join Komodo and see how we could partner and extend our relationship and leveraging data in the decision-making that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. So we're going to go over three really quick things. We have a short period of time with you, and we'd love to hear from you as well. Uh, we're going to introduce just basically the data foundation of Komodo Health to you. So for those of you who aren't familiar, we'll talk a little bit about our data spine. We'll talk about how we partnered with PulsePoint in order to help evolve the way in which both measurement and optimization can occur in platform. And then lastly, talk about how we can partner with all of you in order to help ensure that you can optimize your media in real time, right, versus that sort of lag and, and waiting for that, uh, that data to come through. So for those of you who do not know our health map, um, we believe we are the most reliable healthcare map in the United States at this time. We have over 330 million patient lives in our map, and over half of those are closed claims. So that means you get visibility into that complete longitudinal patient journey. So we master at the patient level. So you're able to see that patient experience across providers, across payers, across their HCPs and their healthcare organizations. And so when you think about our data, um, we partner and contract directly with a lot of our, our customers. So we're not going through some of those data clearing houses that would cause they need to stitch together different data sources, but also provide gaps in some of that data visibility. And the organization is really invested in two things, our data and our technology. And the importance of that is that we can bring you that data in an environment where bringing in patient level joins and patient data is a very difficult thing, right? Something that you have to deal with on a compliance level. We also don't project our base level of data. So this is important when you start thinking about that data foundation and fidelity as you start joining other data sets to the health map. So one of the things that uh, made me join Komodo is I spent my entire career sourcing data, trying to join that data together so that I didn't have to live in a world in which it was, hey, this data set tells me this piece of information, but if I look back at the survey data that I did here, I can't necessarily aggregate that, right? Everything I'm doing is looking at it at an individual level. 
So with our technology, you're able to join those data. We partner with Datavant to do the data linking. And you're able to bring in both first party and third party data sets. So this means you get to actually augment at both the patient level, rolled up to that HCP, and get a higher visibility into those health engagements in the system. So that's giving you really that visibility into that entirety of the treatment journey. Um, we do talk a lot about our breadth and depth of our health map. So if you think about the, the visibility into it, we have six times more claims for these patients, two times more uh, visibility to unique patients. And so again, we really believe that it all begins with that data spine. That married with the HIPAA compliant environment gives you that ability to work safely within your organization. So your teams can work directly in the data. So if your analytics partners wanna get in there and run this in house, you guys are more than welcome to do that. We work very much with partners to be able to make that available. And we also use this data and our technology to power products that are more out of the box to help you guys in your day to day. So the purpose of our, our being here today is to talk a little bit about measurement. So it's kind of a nice tee up to follow our, our friends um, talking about TikTok, but really the importance of saying, well, how do we bring more technology to you directly, right? So you don't have to wait, so that you don't have to be relying upon other people in order to do the most important thing that you guys have to do as marketers, which is justify your spend, right? Am I reaching the right people? Am I delivering the right message and the right content at the right time? And a lot of those times we're waiting on data lag. And how many people in the room experienced the same thing I did about 10, 15 years ago? You launch a TV campaign, you're spending millions of dollars on that television campaign and your CEO calls you the next day. How much revenue have you driven, right? How many people are on brand now? And then you have to remind everybody, well, hey, there's this, this journey that happens, right? And there's an intermediary that has to occur. Patient has to see an ad, HCP has to see an ad. We have to have time for that to happen in that day-to-day that -day process. And oftentimes we're just reliant on this, this time lag and things like vanity metrics. So again, we really wanted to focus on being able to deliver timeliness and insights. And we'll talk a little bit about how we're doing that with Pulse Point in a moment. Um, also the inflexibility. So everybody has different configurations and different things that they need to do. And again, we want you guys to have the tools in your hands. So we offer a very flexible way to configure different analytics. That's not just in the way you lay out your, your puzzle pieces, right? What are the analytics that are most important to you and to your brands, but also the types of analytics. So that's something that really gives that, that differentiation for our health data. And then lastly, there's no black box. Right, so we have a clean room environment in which all of our data is joined. You have access to that data, so you don't have to find yourselves in a situation of not being able to run different analytics, answer different business questions. And so this is really what we were foundationally thinking about when we wanted to develop a new offering and really support our, our marketers and, and our partners here. Uh, so PulsePoint and Komodo joined forces here, right, in order to really think about ways in which we could optimize and make this more efficient for our, our partners as a whole. So I'm gonna introduce Jonathan to talk a little bit about the Pulse Point environment. Sure, yeah, thanks Natalie. It's a great introduction to the uh, innovation solutions that Komodo's bringing to market. And really, uh, I'll try to highlight ways that we share a lot of uh, commonalities. Um, we, we try to have a lot of transparency around our solutions and our data. We try to have a lot of speed and timeliness, and of course, flexibility in our platform. Um, so for those of you who don't know PulsePoint, we're a healthcare marketing technology company built on top of identity-backed, deterministic, person-based data. Um, we really look to empower today's healthcare marketer with uh, the ability to reach healthcare professionals and de-identified patients at an unprecedented level of scale, quality, and also in the right moment in their clinical journey and in their digital journey. So I'm a data guy, and PulsePoint's you know, at, at our heart a data company. Um, everything starts with the data. Our data originates from the audience. From the per our data audiences originate from the person. Um, everything starts from there, and then we build up. We understand um, contextually and digitally where these users are across their daily uh, journeys. We see 90% of the US adult population and 3.6 million healthcare professionals. We see them every day across all kinds of channels. Of course, traditional digital signals, but things like connected TV, email, social platforms, um, you know, within their household or within their practice, and then even sometimes within their electronic health records. And we use this to really empower healthcare marketers to be able to reach and engage with these, uh, with these people um, at the right time um, at the, and in the right place. So Komodo and, and PulsePoint, uh, you know, we have a really cool partnership and we share a lot of commonalities. One is our philosophy around data. As Natalie pointed out, we both sort of have a person-centric view of, of, of the world 
Pulse points originates on the right hand side in the green blue on the digital side. So our definition of a person really starts with understanding who they are digitally, what their consumer journey is, you know, contextually what they're, uh, what they're consuming, what kind of content they're, they're reading, you know, where they are in their patient journey. And Komodo's originates on the uh, left hand side in purple from the clinical side. And they meet in the middle around a quality audience. And really what this means is we can identify the right kind of patient at the right kind of time, um, both reaching them and engaging with them, but also measuring um, you know, where they are. All of this data sits underneath the PulsePoint health buying platform and is accessible via what we call the real-time intelligence loop. It's really built on four pillars, and they're kind of the standard marketing pillars. You, inside of one self-service, transparent platform, you can plan, understand who is your audience, what are they doing, what are their preferences, um, how big is the audience, is it a thousand people, is it a million people, is it 10 million people? Within that same platform, you build a media plan, go up to the top left corner and activate against it. Build a, build a campaign across multiple channels, across multiple audience types, across multiple tactics. And then off the shelf, if you go over to the right hand side, there's built in optimizations in the platform, but because it's a transparent self-serve platform that you know, our users can see measurement within, you can make your own optimizations. You can make daily updates to your, to your flight. You can really use the data that's being fed back to you. And typically it's, you know, you think traditional measurement, impressions, clicks, uh, conversions, but now with the partnership with Komodo, we're able to offer audience quality reads inside of the platform that you can update your campaign on a daily basis if you want. It's, it, it's a sort of first time that we really see this kind of this kind of platform in the market where you get really close to real time measurement on who you're who you're reaching with your campaign and what effect that's having. Um, and then Natalie gets to talk about the fun stuff, which is <laughs> more detail about the, the product. Awesome. I'm going to steal that from you. Yes. Thank you. So we talked about the, the rationale and really the reason of coming together, right? It's this notion of, again, you're spending millions of dollars on your media plans. You're really looking to say, am I reaching that right HCP or that right patient in the right moment, right? So we have those buzzwords that we've all lived with. We kind of hate them, but we live with them and we love them. Personalization, right? So the importance of really being able to understand who and what in those journeys and understand the impact that you're having on shifting behavioral change or being able to say, hey, how am I trending towards conversion? Whether that's I'm a MetaFairs team that wants to understand I'm, am I getting better awareness around a new therapy, right? A new category of therapy all the way through to the end of, hey, am I driving RX for my, my brands? So our coming together and joining these data foundations and partnering with PulsePoint was an opportunity for us to really offer to the PulsePoint customers best in class service, right, in real time data. And so we are able to link, as mentioned, both at the NPI level, as well as at the patient level. And so bringing that data in, and you'll hear us joke, right, if I got a first name, a last name, and a date of birth, and I can throw it on a token, we can join it. Right? Again, coming back to how difficult building some of these linked data sets have been in the past, we work with you. We do all of that for you from the certifications to the data linking to making sure you have that data available in your environment. So this also breeds, I think, a really good synergy, right? How many times as marketers were we sort of saying, hey, we're trying to do this, our IT teams are trying to do this, and our analytics teams are trying to do that. So there's different ways that you can offer access. So if I'm a marketer and I want to go in and, and look at how my campaign is doing, I can do that in real time. If my analytics teams want access to that linked data set in a secure HIPAA compliant environment, well, I can bolt that on as well and really dig in right, and ask those questions and torture that data to really understand how to best perform in PulsePoint and in, in other media tactics. So one of the things that I think is really neat about this partnership, right, is this coming together of, as we talked about, health outcomes with your promotional strategy. So we lived for so many years on just vanity metrics, right? Did people call the 800 number and listen to the IVR? Did people search for my product more often? Did they click on this? And we all know as human beings what our own consumer behaviors look at, whether we're an MD, right, or, or we're a woman looking for a new handbag. It all looks very similar. But with health, right, it takes a while. As mentioned, it's not a, I see a Cheetos ad, I drop those Cheetos in my Instacart, and I have them delivered, and 15 minutes later, and I have a closed loop. Right? We have to rely on people seeing an ad, taking some sort of action, engaging with the health system, and then we get visibility to that data. So again, giving our direct relationships with our partners, we process data on a daily basis. We are looking at being able to see post-campaign launch by joining that data right, as early as one week. 
when you start knowing if your campaign is reaching your target audience, and I'm really excited, I don't want to steal Jonathan's thunder here, but again, mentioning we process on a day-to-day -day basis, we've partnered with PulsePoint to deliver an audience quality daily through their platform. So he'll talk a little bit about that more. So we give you very direct visibility into your campaign and your target audience. That ability to understand and ingest behaviors within the treatment journey. So I think about it as shots on goal, right? Through that treatment journey, the, the patient is going to engage or that physician is going to engage at various junctures in the healthcare journey. You have to see an advertisement, right? You have to go into the, the provider. You have to then get some sort of intervention, whether that's a diagnostic. We have visibility to all of that data, and Komodo is constantly updating its data sources. As an example, we've just recently processed additional Rx data. We're bringing in community oncology, so we're really filling those gaps, genomics data, right? A lot of different information so that you can really, really hone in and understand that particular behavior. Am I trying to drive a new diagnosis or a different diagnostic that ultimately changes that patient's pathway, gets them to a different provider? You have visibility to all of these different junctures within the patient journey, which gives you the opportunity to better target, but also to better understand that path to conversion. So when your CEO calls you and says, hey, all those millions of dollars that I've given you, right, where is that returning revenue? You're able to come back and really talk about this treatment journey and this funnel. And instead of saying, hey, I saw more people click on an ad, you can say, I saw more people getting a test or going to visit a certain specialist as a result of that. And again, really being able to measure that path to conversion, however you define that. Yeah, and this is a, just sort of a snapshot of our platform. So this is our self-serve platform. You can see this is an example campaign, actually real data that we obfuscated a little bit, um, where they've set up a bunch of different tactics with a bunch of different targeting rules and, and audiences and things like this. And in the platform, you see on a day-to-day -day basis the measurement of audience quality. You can see one tactic's performing a lot better than the other than the other. What this allows our, our marketer to do is make optimizations, shift budgets around, move, move things around, change the way that you're sort of um, allocating, um, or change the way that you're sort of working with partners, or go back to where you created that audience and say, we need to tweak something. We need to change the definition of the audience or change kind of how we're thinking about this. Now, this is what we call tier one. Um, <laughs> this is in, in the dashboard. It's a very quick read. It's a daily optimization, and it tells you how, who is behind the audience, who you're actually reaching. It, when you go to the next level, which is tier two and tier three, um, you get a lot more of the sort of like longer reads, more, more information about kind of um, ROI and things like that, which Natalie can talk about too. Awesome. So we'll talk really quickly, right? We're not here to sell you something. We're here to talk a little bit more with you guys. You asked the question of what to look at, right? You're gonna have the ability and you should have the flexibility to really be able to understand those analytics that are most important to your brand. What are you trying to drive? So when we created our out of the box solution, we started with four pillars that we think are very important to understanding the, the journey. So we like to think of these as clues, right? It's not one individual analytic that's gonna tell you the entire story, but it's looking very rigorously and deeply into those different analytics to understand what in fact needs to be dialed up a little bit or what is that lever that you can pull. And so when we think about the different types of analytics or buckets of analytics, we look at understanding the audience quality and profiling. Right? So this again, are you reaching the right people? Are you really able to maximize your efficiency and, and hone in that targeting? So A, you're reducing waste, but B, you're making sure that that right patient or that right HCP is getting the right message in order to help drive and, and raise awareness. We added something that was a little bit different into this as well. So source of business is sort of a near and dear to my heart, right? If you're, if you're driving some sort of advertising to your customers, you have an intended action. So when you think about the days of brand planning and you say, hey, I've got to get out there, I've got a new brand, I'm fifth to market, and my strategy is I've got to convert, right? I've got to steal share. So the understanding of source of business, when you look at your different dimensions of prescribing or procedure, whatever that may be, you're really able to hone in and understand, again, where those folks came from in a test versus control metric. We move through that and offer, again, the segmentation and treatment journey. So we give you that funnel view because we think it's really important that you understand those influences in your marketing plan. And then lastly, right, it's, it's the, the money and the revenue. So are, are we measuring our performance, again, of, of some sort of media intervention, talking about optimizations and really give, giving you the ability to, to demonstrate through attributions, through ROI, the overall impact of your campaign. So we've said a lot. Um, we don't have a ton of time left, but would love to open it up to, uh, to the floor for any questions. Just a reminder, you can 
Uh, we have a series of questions up here, but just a reminder that you can ask them along the way. Um, I'm wondering if you could share, what do you see moving, excuse me, what do you see moving or changing when looking at analytic functions and how is it related to data teams versus more traditional business partners like commercial ops? So I'm going to think, I'm going to try to unpack this a little bit. Are, is this sort of related, I don't want to put somebody on the spot, but more so when looking at how our, our infrastructures are changing in the relationship sort of of the, the traditional analytics teams, your commercial operations, and then uh, right, your internal teams. I guess if I'm, if I'm understanding that correctly. I, mean, I would, say, I would yeah. say they are becoming a lot more aligned. Yep. Um, you know, I mean, in our approach at PulsePoint, I think Komodo as yep. well is, put data in as many people's hands as we can get it. Yep. Um, we want everyone to be making decisions off of the same information. Um, you know, that's why we surface this information in a self-serve platform. So we send it to the clients, the operations teams, the analytics teams, yep. whoever it is. We really want um, analytics to not be like a siloed function. You know, there's obviously certain yep. roles and responsibilities, but we want, want the data to be surfaced everywhere. Yep. Um, and I think that's true across the, the, the business. Absolutely, absolutely. I would say it's becoming an enterprise function across the board, and so you're building tooling and technology to try to support that enterprise strategy. Sure. I wondered if you could uh, touch upon what dimensions does the Komodo and PulsePoint data intersect? That's a great question. Um, <laughs> it really is flexible um, in terms of, we kind of joke, and in, in, I'm just telling a nerd now, metadata, right? Yeah. Really is, is really, as yeah. much coming back to that, depending on the different data elements that you want to bring in, um, we really can bring much of that data in. Again, if it's at the patient level linking, um, as long as we can, again, join those data sources, we can bring in a, a whole variety of dimensions. Really, the rate limiting factor is always going to be around patient level certifications. And so working with you guys, that's something Komodo will do to help identify those appropriate schemas. So they intersect really as much data as you want to bring in. We can, yeah. uh, we can join Just it. Throw back to my uh, Venn diagram, at the person. <laughs> so whether <laughs> yeah. that person's a patient or an HCP, yeah. and then any other information that we can associate to those people from a patient perspective or from an HCP yeah. perspective. For, so for the second question here, uh, I know you spoke about audience quality and overall impact. Um, so I'm not sure if you have uh, other suggestions, but how do you evaluate and measure the success of your targeted outreach? Yeah, I mean, well, so the, the audience quality is kind of the, the, the first, the first uh, measurement, which is really like being surfaced in our platform. It's did you hit the right people, people who are suffering from the condition or have recently been diagnosed or, um, you know, are taking a certain medication. Um, and Komodo's platform is um, super flexible to, you know, meet whatever that definition happens to be. Um, you can really go in and, and you know, do some research and an analysis and figure out who is it that I think my target audience is and then measure campaign effectiveness against that. Um, you know, that's the first line. I don't know if you want to take the second question. Yeah, I mean, it can really go into, again, depending on what it is that you're trying to understand. Are you reaching the, the physician or the patient at a certain juncture in that treatment journey as well? So really digging in and understanding the dimensions of that, that audience quality. But it really does begin with that first, right? Am I, am I distributing media to the right people? So really that feedback loop and optimization yeah. and then, yeah, from there. Yeah. Okay. Jonathan, oh, Natalie, thank so you much, very everybody. much. Appreciate it.